GGG, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And matter of fact, man, make sure you check the website out, codingface.com. Your boy is back. Check the resources. All right. Listen, I'm going to tell you guys my PHP story. And why am I going to say it as well? I got a little comment where, you know, a uh, Trump supporter, <laughs> which is funny, he has that name. Uh, you advised new developers to learn PHP to find a job easier. Did you learn PHP at first? Are you still a PHP developer? What well, back end languages can you code now? All right, let's break it down. So when I first started in this thing, I was just doing front end, pretty much just transforming a PSD into HTML and CSS. That's how I started. Then from there, I started messing around with some JavaScript, some jQuery, right? Now, once you get to a certain point and you're like, oh man, I wanted to get uh, a couple of clients, and, you know, everywhere I went, everybody was talking about WordPress, WordPress. And I'm like, damn, man, what the hell is WordPress? So I basically, I downloaded the, the freaking library or the framework, whatever you want to call it. And that was my first introduction to PHP. Matter of fact, no, the first introduction to PHP was a long time ago. And back then, I was just like, uh, I don't understand this shit. I'm gone. <laughs> I left that shit alone, right? So then fast forward to when I started learning how to code the proper way, right? So pretty much I decided, you know, I had this client who wanted me to build him a website for, it was like a movie, right? And pretty much what I did, I just built it with WordPress. And I was like, oh, man, I'm a developer now. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing the front end. I didn't even know anything front end or back end. It was more like, oh, I built a website for this person, right? Mind you, I was like, man, this thing is great, whatever. Times goes on, and I come back again and started making another website in WordPress. And then I started noticing a, a lot of limitations. In my head back then... I thought that was PHP. I thought that's how PHP was. I thought that WordPress was PHP. I was like super beginner back then, right? So I kind of left it alone. And then the whole industry started talking about no JS this, no JS that. And everywhere I went, everybody was be like, oh man, PHP sucks. PHP is the worst language out there. And I was like, man, fuck PHP. I'm not touching PHP because that shit is old. Everybody says that it's old. And, you know, I'm listening to everybody in the internet because I didn't know better. I wasn't working in the industry. You know, I didn't know that when people put comments on the internet, it's more like their opinions. It doesn't mean that's how it really is in the industry. It's more like a personal opinion. It's like if I hate uh, C sharp, I could go and leave a comment and be like, oh, man, don't fucking learn C sharp, man. That's for, for squares and, and losers. Right, but the industry actually use C sharp. There's more uh, websites, more companies that use C sharp than um, Node.js. So yeah, you know what I mean. So, but whatever. So basically, I stopped even trying to get into PHP. I stopped, and that was like all the way in the beginning, in the beginning of my career. That was on year one, right? I have five years in this thing. I have five years in the industry. I have five years working as a developer, five years making professional websites. So from year one to year three, I didn't touch PHP ever again because on the internet, everybody's like, oh man, I don't want to deal with this, right? But that put so much limitations on me because number one, I didn't know my SQL. Number two, every time somebody would come to me and be like, hey, can you build this in the back end or use this framework like Laravel or Code Igniter or anything, right? I would be like, nah, all I could do is just the front end. I could make the design for you. I could build the HTML and the CSS and some jQuery for you. That's it. Now, from there, I went to another company where they were making millions of dollars, right, in advertising. It was an advertising company. And they were all just using PHP. And I was like, man, I thought PHP was dead and nobody, you know, nobody cared about this thing. Mind you, that was like 
2013, around there, 2013, 2014, around there. And I was like, man, this shit is cool. I thought it was like pretty shitty and nobody uses it. And it's like no major companies use it. Then I found out that I'm losing out on so many freaking jobs. I realized that I was putting myself in a little box where it was just like, hey, all I know is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which I wasn't expanding my mind as far as like programming, learning different languages, learning different databases, MySQL, po um, Postgres, uh, SQL Server, uh, you know, even MongoDB, a whole bunch of different uh, technologies that I was just missing out on just because I kept listening to everybody in the internet. And that was like on, on Team Treehouse. I used to be on Team Treehouse forums all the time, and people would talk shit about PHP. And I was like, man, now that I think about it, I'm like, I should have been doing this shit since the beginning. Because even when I, on my first year, when I first started looking for a job, there was a whole bunch of jobs that said PHP. And I would just go right over it because I don't know no PHP. I don't know anything in the back end. I don't know about my SQL. So now, fast forward to now, Basically, almost all my personal projects, I do it on PHP Laravel, right? Why? Because I love Ruby on Rails, but to be honest with you guys, Ruby on Rails is is like something that is not going to say it's dying, but most companies are not going to uh, basically put money into Ruby on Rails. So like, let's say if I wanted to look for a job for Ruby on Rails, I have to be like extremely good in Ruby or Rails. You just don't get hired for to become a, a Ruby developer. You have to be like a fucking senior level with like five years of experience being a back end developer or, or more. And I don't have that, you know? So I have like two years of back end development, but in total of five years of like as a web developer, right? So that's why I choose Laravel, right? Because there's so many companies that's hiring. There's so many companies that is constantly sending me messages like, man, we want to hire you. We want you for this and that. Like, everybody knows I'm good with JavaScript. Like, no lie. I don't want to, like, put myself up here. But there's not that many people that could fuck with me in JavaScript. Like, I know that shit like the back of my hand. Like, straight up. Now, PHP, am I the best in PHP? Probably not because there's probably guys who've been doing this shit for 10, 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, time does make a difference when it comes to uh, development and experience. But yeah, man, so that's like my story of PHP. So that answers everything. Like, do I advise new developers to learn PHP? Yes, because it's going to open doors for you like a lot of doors like when i learned php that thing just the gates were open for me straight up like i felt like i could learn any other language out there i could learn any backend language after php it's like right now i'm working on on crystal lang crystal lang is not the easiest language out there and i'm fucking i'm getting really really good on it i'm getting so good that i'm making tutorials on it and like I'm doing fucking great, you know what I mean? And I make a lot of money in my company because I'm a PHP Laravel developer. You know what I mean? If I wanted to, I could go remote because there's a million jobs that are remote, which is what a lot of you guys want, right? So, yeah, man, definitely learn PHP, and that's my PHP story, man. Yeah, I almost didn't learn PHP because I kept seeing on the Internet, PHP sucks or php is dead or php is the worst language php is slow it might be all of that but there's money to be made <laughs> you know what i mean like i work in php it's not my favorite language but when i get home i work on something cool like crystal you know what i mean or i work on something cool like node.js or electron i have our electron app that i'm working on too you know what I mean? So, yeah. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. Your boy is back. You already know it's your boy, Joe, a.k.a. I do this, a.k.a. your boy, Dad.